Hey, Mike Simon here. Uh, I just unboxed the DJI Spark, and I'm going to show you guys how to get this thing set up, updated, and calibrated. First thing you have to do is the Spark battery comes in hibernation mode. So no matter what you do, push the button, it won't turn on. First thing you need to do is open up the little compartment in the back, plug in the charger, and charge it fully all the way. Once you do that, the battery will be now out of hibernation mode and you'll be able to hit the button on the battery and you will see that it is fully charged and the LED lights will light up. Let's turn it on by pushing once and then pushing a second time and holding. Now that we have the DIGI Spark turned on, open up your mobile device and you're going to want to go to your Wi-Fi settings and connect to the Spark's SSID. To find the Spark's SSID, you can find it underneath the battery compartment or it's on the box that came with the DJI Spark. <clears throat> now that we have the DJI connected to your mobile device, open up the DJI Go For app and this will take you through the registration and activation of your DJI drone. Once you get to the part where it prompts you to activate your drone, you have to disconnect from your DJI. So go back to your Wi-Fi settings, connect to your Wi-Fi internet, or use your mobile device service provider. Once you have connected, go ahead and click Activate. Launch the DJI app and you'll notice if you have any firmware updates. If so, it will prompt you to start downloading now. Go ahead and click Download Now. This should take about 5 to 10 minutes depending on your internet connection. In the meantime, turn off your DJI drone so your battery is not being used. Now that you have downloaded the latest firmware update from the DJI Go4 app, let's go ahead and turn on your DJI Spark. Next you will want to go to your Wi-Fi settings and then connect to your DJI Spark's SSID. Once you do that, then launch the DJI Go4 app once again and then click update firmware. Once you click start to update the firmware, you'll notice that your DJI goes through a series of light combinations, noise making combinations, and a power cycle. This took about 15 to 20 minutes, so it's very important that you start with a full battery. As remember, this thing only has a 17 minute flight time. Once you get to 99%, you will see a tip hint message appear and state that your DJI Spark has been disconnected. You need to go back to your Wi-Fi settings, reconnect to the DJI Spark's SSID. Once you do so and relaunch the DJI Go app, it will then ask you to manually power cycle the DJI Spark to complete the firmware update process. So at this time, go ahead and power cycle your DJI drone by turning it completely off, hitting the complete button, then go ahead and turn the device back on. Congratulations, your DJI Spark is currently updated to the latest firmware. Now to do calibrations, go ahead and launch the software and hit go. 
The first calibration I'm going to do is the compass calibration. This is very simple, as all you need to do is follow the on-screen instructions until the next step appears. Once successful with the calibration of the compass, you will see a message appear on the screen that it has been completed. The next step we will go ahead and do the IMU calibration step. Go through the settings and collect IMU calibration. Again, just like the compass, follow the on-screen instructions. First, it has you to remove the propellers. Once you remove the propellers, go ahead and hit next to start the calibration. It will have you set the DJI drone spark on multiple different locations, on its side, on its bottom, on its top, forwarding up and forwarding down. Just follow the on-screen instructions as the LEDs will blink, prompting you to go to the next step. Congratulations, you have now completed the IMU calibration, the compass calibration, DJI Spark setup and activation. Please like and subscribe. Happy holidays.